Hi! In this video, I'm going to lead you through a beginning version of Cloud Hands. And this is Cloud Hands from Opening the Energy Gates Qigong, as taught by my main teacher, Bruce Francis. And I'm going to lead you through how to build up into the full movement of Cloud Hands, component by component. At Chicago Tai Chi, many of our students love Cloud Hands as a warm-up for Tai Chi or as a separate practice in itself. So, I hope you enjoy it too, and now I'm going to get up and lead you through Cloud Hands. We begin by establishing the basic alignments of neutral posture. Our feet are parallel, approximately under the hips. Our knees are unlocked soft. Our tailbone is relaxed down, releasing the lower back and behind the pelvis. Then we open the midriff, creating some space in this area. We continue that gentle lifting up the spine to where the spine meets the skull, the occiput, the basic structure. Then off that basic structure, we relax our shoulders, let the arms hang comfortably at the sides, the sense of openness in the armpits. Soften the chest, let the back open up. Then feel your feet. Balance the pressures in your feet so that your weight is evenly distributed between each foot and on each foot. Neutral, balanced, upright posture. And then to begin cloud hands, we'll start with a weight shift. And in cloud hands, we have a slightly wider stance. So shift weight to one side, then step out a few inches. Then begin to push your weight from one leg to the other. Adjust your stance as you need to for stability and comfort. And the ideal is the weight shift is as near as 100% as you can get. Loading up one leg as you unload the other. Now above your waist, you want to maintain the verticality you established in neutral posture rather than leaning as you shift weight, right? Shifting weight from one leg to the other. A fundamental movement component of Tai Chi. Next, we had another fundamental movement component of Tai Chi, hip rotation. And in cloud hands, as you shift weight, you begin to turn your hips a little into your weighted leg. Shifting weight, turning your hips, shifting weight, turning your hips. Now when you add hip rotation, you also want to devote some attention to maintaining your knee alignments. And the basic knee alignments are knee over the foot, kneecap aligned with toes. And if you maintain those two alignments, when you shift weight and add rotation, you'll avoid putting excessive pressure in one part of the knee or the other. And you'll avoid, you'll avoid twisting or putting torque into your knee. You don't want to do either of those. So shift weight, turn your hips, Feel your knees and keep the knee over the foot. Kneecap aligned with toes. And then note, my hands are roughly at the side of my hips, palms down. Next, we'll add the arms. 
And as you shift weight from one side to the other, the hand from the weighted side ascends and rotates. So you're facing your palm. Then as you shift weight to the other leg, that hand descends. As the other hand ascends in the same way. So, on the weighted side, your palm's down, and the other hand has the other hand is ascended, and you're facing your palm. One hand down, one hand up as you shift weight and turn your hips. And note. As the hands ascend or descend, they also rotate in the shoulder joints. So we've got rotation in the hip joints, rotation in the shoulder joints, and you want to feel for any sense of connection between that movement. Ideally, Controlling the rotation in the shoulder joints with the rotation in the hip joints so that they happen at the same time. They sync up, if you will. And then another element to coordinate is the weight shift in the arm movements. So the arm descends as you shift weight to one leg and finishes its descent as you complete your weight shift. And with practice, the weight shift, the hip rotation, the arm movements, the rotation in the shoulder joint, all begin to sync up and happen in an increasingly connected whole body way. And that's an introduction to the basics of plowed hands. Let's do a few more together. feeling for any sense of smooth, connected, whole body movement. One more. So there's an introduction to cloud hands. Enjoy your practice. Thank you.